Reverend Father, give the blessing. Blessed the kingdom, the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace from on high and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the Holy Church of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this Holy Church, for all who entered with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord our Holy Father Francis, Pope of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our most reverend Metropolitan William, for our God-loving Bishop Milan, for the venerable Presbyterate, the Diaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our government, for all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city, community, and for the faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by sea, air, and land, for the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you. O Lord, O God, mighty beyond description, glorious above understanding, merciful without limits, loving us all beyond expression, look with compassion on us and this Holy Church Master, and show us and those who pray with us riches your tender mercy. For to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is your glory, honor, worship, now and ever, and forever. Shout joyfully to the Lord, all the earth. Sing praise to his name. Give to him glorious praise. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. to us, O God, and bless us. Let your face shine upon us and have mercy on us. O Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to you. <coughs> Alleluia. Glory to the Father.
Attentive. Come, let us worship and bow before Christ, O Son of God, risen from the dead. Save us who sing to you. Alleluia. O faithful, let us praise and adore. and the cross in the flesh and to suffer death and to raise the dead by his glorious resurrection. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and and forever. Amen. O Savior, you descended into Hades. You crushed its gates as the Good Father, bless us Let 
us be attentive. Peace be to all. Wisdom be attentive. You, O oh Lord, will keep us and preserve us forever, forever, from this generation. Help, O oh Lord, for good men have vanished. Wisdom. A reading from the Epistle of St. Paul to the Romans. Let us be attentive. Brethren, we have gifts that differ according to the favor bestowed on each of us. One gifts may be prophecy, its use should be in proportion to his faith. It may be the gift of ministry. It should be used for service. One who is a teacher should use his gift for teaching. One with the power of exhortation should exhort. He who gives alms should do so generously. He who rules should exercise his authority with care. He who performs works of mercy should do so cheerfully. Your love must be sincere. Detest what is evil, cling to what is good. Love one another with the affection of brothers. Anticipate each other in showing respect. Do not grow slack, but be fervent in spirit. He whom you serve is the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient under trial. Persevere in prayer. Look on the needs of the saints as your own. Be generous in offering hospitality. Bless your persecutors. Bless and do not curse them. Peace be to your reader. Wisdom be attentive. Hallelujah. 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 I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. Through all ages, my mouth will proclaim your truth. Hallelujah. 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 Of this I am sure that your love lasts forever, that your truth is as firmly established as the heavens. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Reverend Father, blessed proclaimer of the gospel of the Holy Apostle and Evangelist Matthew. May God, through the prayers of the Holy, glorious, lustrous Apostle Evangelist Matthew, Grant that you proclaim the word with great power for the fulfillment of the gospel, his beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Wisdom, let us stand and listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Let us be attentive. At that time, Jesus re-entered the boat, made the crossing, and came back to his hometown. There the people at once brought to him a paralyzed man 
lying on a mat. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Have courage, son, your sons are forgiven. At that, some of the scribes said to themselves, The man blasphemes. Jesus was aware of what they were thinking and said, Why do you harbor evil thoughts? Which is less trouble to say, Your sins are forgiven, or stand up and walk. To help you realize that the Son of Man is authority on earth to forgive sins. He then said to the paralyzed man, Stand up, roll up your mat, and go home. The man stood up and went toward his home. At the sight, a feeling of awe came over the crowd, and they praised God for giving such authority to men. Glory to Jesus Christ. There is always good to make a break from time to time to think about life and how many remind us that and to count our blessings. It means to realize these good things which are coming to our life, what we have in our life. Because many times it happens that we take them somehow naturally. That we don't appreciate many things which make our life rich and great. And today is Sunday and the gospel we heard today, it's this reminder for us to stop and to think and to realize how great gift God gives us. Gift of forgiveness. And we, if we are somehow open to truth, we can find many moments in our life when we were in ruins, when we were really very similar to that paralyzed man, that we somehow ruined our life with bad decisions, <coughs> that we needed this God's forgiveness. And the same way as this man was forgiven his sins and as an evidence of this forgiveness, he was healed even in his body. How many times our life was put together again through still receiving God's forgiveness. And if we look to our life, we can find these moments. And this should be this reminder of greatness of this gift God gave us. And the gospel reminds us that this gift is so great that he is, it is not only like forgiveness of sins. It is this gift makes us whole again, returns beauty which God intended for us. Beauty of our being. Holy Fathers, they call this sacrament of reconciliation, confession, they call it is the second baptism. And they, what they mean by that, that really it is something what, what gives or puts us back to this wonderful state of grace, which not only heals our soul and makes it so beautiful in front of God, but somehow all our being is is healed and made beautiful. How wonderful gift it is. There are <coughs> saints who say 
that God gives us so much in this sacrament of reconciliation that only a little bit would be enough for us to live perfect, holy life. If we are able to take it. So much grace we are, is poured upon us. How great this gift of forgiveness is. And we should somehow to stop and think about this because many times we don't appreciate it or we don't understand this. And we have to, if we come to this testing of our heart and we, if we ask, why is that? That my heart is not burning with this thanks towards God for because of this gift. Why this gift don't cause me this burst of love? Why it is that my heart responds to this offering, or to this gift, this coldness? Why is that? And if we start to read these manuals for spiritual life, we can find a lot of reasons which can lead to this state. And, but I am going to avoid this, to, to make a list of these reasons. Instead, I will tell you a story. And it, I don't remember, I might, maybe I told you already in past, but it is a very powerful story and it is worth it to be repeated. Because it describes what happens in human heart. This story is about one man from China. He lived in that area of China when the persecution of Christians was really strong. Somehow, he managed to come here to United States. And when he came to New York and, and he walked streets and he saw all these churches there, when he realized that churches are open all the time, that he can enter without fear to the church and pray, when he realized that he can make confession anytime he wishes, he was like in heaven when he realized that he can come every day for the liturgy and to receive God in Eucharist. He was happy, very happy. And priest who became his pastor in one parish, he said, well, it was always great to see this guy because he was coming every day and his face was like Fill with joy. And he said, well, it was encouragement for us to see him because reminder how he values things we consider as normal. But that, that prison said, well, after like three, four months, something happened. He got a job and he started to skip daily liturgy. He came just once maybe twice for the liturgy during weekdays. And he said it took another like four months or five months, he started to come only for Sunday's liturgies. Then he opened some kind of small buffet, he served some kind of food selling. And during that following year, he started to skip Sunday's liturgies. And following year, he came for Christmas and Easter. And then the priest said, but well, then whole year came past. I didn't see him in the church. And this priest said, three or four years was enough to totally damage this wonderful, great, living faith in this man. We can ask, did he deny Christ? 
I would say that he would not agree with that. He, he would say, I still believe in Christ. Did he stop to believe or to consider himself that I am out of the church? No way. He would protest. I still belong to church. I am still Christians and Christian and he would even consider himself as a good Christian. But we know that seeing that we would see him as a Christian with that faith and cold heart. As a Christian who is deaf and blind to God's grace. Why this happened? What caused that he went from this beautiful and living face to this dead face? He started to put importance to other things. He became, as we say, busy. He led world to consume him. And once this happens, our faith is going down. Once we led world to become our ruler, it means all those things which are coming from the world, which takes us away from God, which makes us so busy that we don't have time for spiritual things, our face becomes colder and colder and colder and the end dead. What happens? At the time we still think that how great Christians we are, how we serve God, how we are good in front of God, in that way that we even don't ask God to heal us because we don't feel that we need forgiveness. We are so confident in this level because this is what cold faith brings, this confidence that I am okay. This is his lie which comes through this dead faith which tells us, I don't need any change, I am doing well, I am fine. This is this lie which comes out from sin, which wants always to mask itself to deceive us. Sin doesn't want to go out from our heart. And this is why he puts this mask of pious life and perfect life. When heart is cold, when we get through our business to that level that we even don't have time for Christ, we are not able to recognize where we are. We need help. And today, church gives us this help. Church gives us this picture of that man who agreed to be brought to Christ. That man who somehow realized that he is not perfect, that he's paralyzed. This man agreed to be brought to Christ and Christ gave him gift of forgiveness which healed whole his being and made him whole made him, him whole today for us it is a reminder that there are friends around us who wish to bring us to Christ. These friends can be good book, scripture reading, good spiritual book. Example we see, all those impulses 
are those friends who are ready to bring us closer to Christ, even we are not able. And we will not make a mistake if we respond with we respond to this impulses to these friends with willingness. I want to be healed. And we approach Christ. Help me. Because my heart might be cooler, cooler, colder. But I don't want that. I want you. I want healing. I want salvation. And if we do this, if we use these impulses which are coming to us in abundant measure, we will start to value more and more this gift God gives us, gift of forgiveness, in which is hidden promise of paradise. Amen. <coughs> let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say. Lord, almighty God of our fathers, we pray you, hear and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray you, hear and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for Holy Father Francis, Pope of Rome, and for our most reverend Metropolitan William, for our God-loving Bishop Milan, for those who serve and have served in this holy church, for our spiritual fathers, and for all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our government and for all in the service of our country. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the people here present who await your great and abundant mercy, for those who show us mercy, and for all Christians of the true faith. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For you are merciful, loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever.
God, remember in his kingdom all you Christians of the true faith, always, now, and ever, and forever. May the Lord God remember his kingdom, our Holy Father, Francis Poporom, our most reverend Metropolitan William, our God, loving Bishop Milan, the interpreter, the diaconal monastic order, our government, and all in the service of our country, and even memorable founders and benefactors of this holy church. May the Lord God remember all you Christians of the true faith, always, now and ever, and forever. Precious guest placed before us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Grant this through your mercy, you only begotten Son, with me are blessed together with your all holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. Let us love one another, that with one mind we may profess the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence and undivided. The doors, the doors in wisdom. Let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, the only begotten, born of the Father before all from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in essence with the Father, through whom all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered, and was buried. He rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he is coming again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, 
Together with the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He spoke through the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I profess one baptism for the remission of sins. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand aright. Let us stand in awe. Let us be attentive to offer the holy and offer up in peace. Mercy, peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and just. It is proper and just to sing to you, bless you, praise you, to thank you, to worship in every place your dominion, for your God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing, ever the same, you and your only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit. You brought us out of non-existence into being again, raised us up when we had fallen, left nothing undone, until you brought us to heaven, give us your kingdom to come. For all this we thank you, only begotten Son, and your Holy Spirit, for all that we know and that we do not know, for the manifest and benefits bestowed on us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even under the same before you, thousands of archangels, Tens of thousands of angels, cherubim and seraphim, six winged, many eyes ring up on their wings, singing, shouting, crying aloud, and saying the triumphal hymn. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. Heaven So cry out with these blessed powers, loving kindness, and say, Holy are you in all holy you and your only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit. Holy are you in all holy and magnificent is your glory. You so love your world that you gave your only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him should not perish but have life everlasting. He came and fulfilled the whole divine plan on your behalf, and the night he was betrayed, rather than he surrendered himself. For the life of the world, he took bread into his holy and all pure and immaculate hands, gave thanks and blessed sanctify broke and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles saying take it this is my body which is broken for you for the remission of sins oh, <coughs> Amen. Amen. likewise he took the choice after, likewise he took the choice after supper saying Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Amen. Remember, therefore, this same command, and all has come to pass in our behalf, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection, and the third day, the ascension into heaven, the seen at the right hand of the second coming glory. Offering you your own from your own, always and everywhere. We praise you, we bless you, we thank you, O Lord, and we pray to you, our God. Moreover, we offer.
offer to you this spiritual and unbloody sacrifice and we implore pray and treat you send down your holy spirit upon us and upon these gifts lying before Red us bless the holy bread. and make this bread the precious body of christ Amen. Red bless the holy chalice. and that which is in this shell is the precious blood of your christ Amen. Red bless both. changing them by your holy spirit amen 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 therefore those who partake of them they may bring about the spirit of vigilance the remission of sins the communion with the holy spirit the fullness of the heavenly kingdom and confidence in you, not judgment or condemnation. Moreover, we offer you the spiritual sacrifice for those departing in faith, the forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, captains, ascetics, and for each spirit. Especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious lady, Date Otokos and Ever Virgin Mary. It is truly proper to glorify you, O Theotokos, the ever blessed, immaculate, and the mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. Among the first, O Lord, remember, Holy Father, Francis Poporam, our most reverend, Metropolitan William, our God, loving Bishop Milan. Preserve them for your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health for many years, as they faithfully impart the word of your truth. And remember all your people. And grant that with one voice, one heart, we may glorify and praise your most, most honor, the magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now and ever and forever. Amen. May the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. Now that we have commemorated all the saints, Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts offered and consecrated, that our God who loves us all may receive them on his holy, heavenly and mystical altar as an aroma of spiritual fragrance and send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Asking for unity in the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. And make us worthy, your Master, that we may with confidence and without condemnation, there call you Father, God of heaven and Son. Our Father. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. Bow your heads to the Lord. To Good 
the grace, the mercy, and loving kindness of your only begotten Son with me are blessed together with your all holy good and life creating spirit now and ever and forever. Holy gifts to holy people. Approach with fear of God and with faith. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. Amen. Oh, 
Save your people, O God, and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith, and we worship the Blesses our God always, now and ever, and forever. Amen. May our mouth be filled with your praise, O Lord, so that we may sing of your glory, sing of your divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly, life-creating, and awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily thank the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you are our sanctification. We give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Lord 
blessing those who bless you and sanctifying those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Preserve the fallen in your church, sanctify those who love the beauty of your house, glorify them, return by your divine power, and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your church, to the priests, to our government, and to all your people. For all generous, given and ever perfect, give this from above, coming down from the Father of lights. And we give glory, thanksgiving, worship to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever. And forever. Amen. Blessed be the name. The blessing of the Lord be upon you through His grace, loving kindness, always, now and ever, and forever. Amen. Glory to you, O Christ God, our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, give the blessing. May Christ, our true God, reason from the death of mercy on us and save us. Through the praise of his most pure mother, of the holy, glorious, illustrious apostles, our holy father, John Christ, the Archbishop of Constantinople, of the holy father, Nicholas, the patron of this church, and through the prayers of all the saints, for Christ is good and loves us all. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to Him forever. Thank you for beautiful liturgy. 